Emerging Invasive Species Spotlight, Scotch Broom. Scotch Broom, Cytisus scoparius, is also known as English Broom, Common Broom, and Broom. It's native to Europe and is an emerging invasive species in the Lower Hudson area of New York. It was introduced as an ornamental plant and for erosion control. This perennial shrub grows up to 10 feet tall and prefers full sun. Scotch broom has woody green square stems and the older tissue turns brown. It has alternate branching pattern with trilobed small leaves. The flowers are yellow and pea-like and bloom in late May to June. The seed pods are green when they're immature and turn black when they're mature. They're pubescent and mature in late summer. Scotch broom is threatening for many different reasons. It's already highly invasive along the west coast and is widespread. This aggressive plant forms dense stands that outcompete native vegetation. It also invades many different habitats from grasslands to roadsides to shrublands to forests and riparian areas. The seeds can be viable in the seed bank for up to 30 years. It's also a nitrogen fixer, so it produces high levels of nitrogen that get deposited into the soil. This plant is unpalatable and slightly toxic, so it won't be grazed by any animals. It has photosynthetic stem tissue that allows it to grow even throughout the winter. This plant also alters the natural fire regime. Scotch broom distribution is pretty limited in New York. These maps were generated in April of 2020. Most of the infestations are in southern New York near Harriman State Park in Orange and Rockland counties but there is a report as far north as in the Adirondack Mountains, which is pretty alarming. Scotch broom is fairly easy to remove by just pulling it. If you can't pull a plant by yourself, you can grab one, two, or even three more people to help you pull it. You can also mow larger infestations but this plant will re-sprout from cut stumps, so mowing will take multiple years. You could also do cut stump or foliar applications with glyphosate. We're also using detection dogs. We've trained dogs to be able to smell infestations of scotch broom. These dogs are helping us find new infestations, map the boundaries of infestations, and make sure that we're as thorough as possible when we're doing management. Thank you to our partners who made this possible.